on the team news. Ruben Moy, Heath and the top scorer Miedemar have all been rested here by Jonas Eideval. Caitlin Ford has the chance to shine up front there for, following a couple of goals in the last round. Leobaldi returns in midfield, the man and benched Nikita Paris comes into the attack. And Jenin Beatty is back in defence. That's four changes from their last outing, but they are still super strong all over the pitch. As for Brighton, well, Hope Powell has made three changes, one at full-back, one in midfield, and one further forward. Danny Kirkdyke, Kayleigh Green and Ben Connolly are the incoming trio. Connolly scored their winner last time out, that was in the other cup competition, when Brighton beat Birmingham by a goal to nil. Two coaches, and maybe Neil Carter there, the X Factor, we shall see. Goliath. Arsenal at home, Wembley not too far from home, and the side of Al wants the lot. Big talk, pre-season that put the pressure on. So far, up to the billing. So. Players and officials of both sides taking the knee prior to kick-off. <laughs> against inequality continues across planet football. And away we go then. Holders Manchester City already beaten today by the reigning WSL champions Chelsea. No real surprise there, if you're honest. What about one here? The previous recently too when it comes to pulling off shocks afford to do you would imagine is concede early Tottenham a couple of weeks ago in the WSL that was against the Oz Spurs had won all of their league matches coming into that one earlier this year Hope Powell's side ended a two-year 33 game unbeaten league run for Chelsea and they did that from a goal down I believe they can do it here too. Maritz. Maritz again. I expect Arsenal possession. Plenty of that, you would imagine. It'd be obvious from the selection whether or not Hope Powell was going with three at the back or four. Three that realistically would become five. So the exchanges will tell us more. Beating. 
expecting to see too much of a high Brighton press. Won this cup way more than anyone else. But the last was more than five years ago. Chelsea in the 2016 final. Carter on the ball here, scoring the only goal of the game. Now she's trying to get the better of her the teammates, Leah Williamson. Battle to watch that's if Brighton can get at the service of the ball. Little Williamson. Nikita Paris. Jordan Nobbs fit and firing again after a three season injury kept her out till very recently. Another sport to add to an already open bow that Simon has got. but back it comes after bossing the ball in these early exchanges as expected little nice take that from Ford who was pointing to where she wanted it she came to feet when she was looking for the ball into the channel Bailey Green across Make the throw for Brighton Megan Connolly one of the three right changes here Walked in in the summer, on the side of all, with a brief of closing the gap. He's done better than that. Even above his own lofty expectations. One setback only. The opening group game defeat in the Champions League to the winning machine that is Barcelona, but that is no disgrace, really. Every other match in qualifying for Europe, Cups and in the league, has been a win. edging to those victories either they've generally won really comfortably three sheets at the back plenty of goals going forward boards <laughs> made the run good return ball no flag first corner of the game goes to us moved ambitious range well offline in the end Jordan Nobbs got 19 minutes against Barcelona in that defeat only about three weeks ago now it was her first action of the season got a substitute appearance against Everton started the next Champions League game against Hoffenheim that was the Last time they played. Thanks to Williamson. Beating. Balti. Just lost a place in the side. The experienced Swiss international Leo Valti. He's taken that. The flag has gone up here on Nikita Paris. There were a few shouts for handball anyway before it. I don't think it was given for that though. It's the fact that Paris had just gone a little early. That's the handball shout on Ford. Peter Paris hasn't scored yet in the league for her new club having come from Lyon in the summer. Such strength they've got, Beth Mead, Vivienne Miedema. Caitlin Ford getting a go today. Paris has scored in Europe and has also got one in the FA Cup as well.
promise here with Mead. Little in the middle. Neat touch from Kaylee Green. Carter. Loses out. They're an Arsenal throw. They can't get out at the moment, Brighton. McCabe. Hold up, play that from Ford. Little wriggles away to find some space. Meet again. And still, anywhere will do. It's a timely stab clear that spares Brighton the early setback. Desperate defending, and well done, Fliss Gibbons. Cracking goal. The only goal, in fact, of the tie. 1-0 winner against her former club, Charlton, in the quarter-final. That's why they're here. Also scored in the previous round at Huddersfield, but the day job is defending, and she can expect to do plenty of that today. All clean sheets this term, Brighton. General consensus, Hope Powell's side, helped by really consistent selection. Won three of the last four in all competitions, and that is actually one win in each of the three domestic competitions, the two cups and in the WSL. Gibbons chasing Paris. Job done. Time to run better this time, Nikita Paris. Megan Walsh, ever present between the posts for Brighton this term. Great long pass, that has turned into Carter. She's on her own. BT times the challenge immaculately. That is going to be the problem, you feel, for Brighton. If they can get it forward to Carter. Probably come from a, a deeper lying position. So she might find that friends are hard to come by. dropping in between the two centre halves that allows McCabe and Maritz to come more like wing backs when that happens is Mead again Carter that's the sharp end of the attack in her own box doing defending which tells you plenty Jordan Nobbs Valti Mead players in the Brighton half as Leah Williamson steps up from centre back nice way to pass Nikita Paris awkward cross and Kayleigh Green safety first heads behind it's another Arsenal corner Deeper this time. Swing of the left boot from Katie McCabe. And that 
Wilson's excellent. Nobbs with the cross straight to Megan Walsh. More good work from Katie McKay. That's the left back as a right winger. Very happy to play further forward, and she's actually scored, Katie McCabe, in each of Arsenal's last three WSL games. And one in the last against Everton was uh, an absolute cracker. Best player on the pitch. It's against the odds, pretty comfortable 13 minutes so far. There I say it for Megan Walsh. Here's Ford. Another corner this time off Williams. to deliver Arsenal pressure start here without testing Walsh too much yet but it'll come tons of goals in Europe and in the cups as you've seen with their run to this point in the women's super league where the record is perfect five wins out of five they've scored three four five four and three not been shut out yet any game this season. Managed to get one. The one block the, or one defeat to Barcelona. Well, in some, some plenty of the ball that high up the field. Paris nips inside of Kargman. It's a very small gap she's tried to drive through there, though, and Gibbons does the job again. So far, that little individual battle is being won by the Brighton defender. It's pretty relentless, isn't it? Wilson with the ball into the run of knobs. Tough pass to pull off. Green. Brighton possession in the Arsenal half. Didn't last more than a few seconds. Got to somehow believe they can keep it better than that. It's a real contest, but they've seen out the opening 15. I guess that would have been the first bit to try and chalk off. Beatty. Okay. Gibbons again beating Paris, this time in the air. A deep Brighton up. Discipline shape so far as Williamson is off a fine pass to Mead. This year he's gone to follow her out there. She's got some competition in that Arsenal attack now, Beth Mead. Having a brilliant season. Country as well as club. She's asking for a handball there and she's got it. Free burn. Says, yes, it was handball. <laughs> Had three corners already. They've basically got another one here. A fraction of a second less time for Brighton to react to it. Goes short. It's just no out ball for Brighton. 
again it's Carter helping out the defence. It's never likely to be anything other than this pattern, just a case of whether Brighton can pull off the discipline required. To keep shuffling across and filling the gaps, and denying space for Arsenal to play in, and then maybe something on the counter. Set piece perhaps, certainly not going to be having a lot of the ball in Arsenal's half, that's clear. Little, Williamson, Beatty. task discipline Arsenal's arguably patience he won't be surprised he'll have known they were going to come up against this kind of blue and white wall Luke Powell tried it against Chelsea the league game and against Tottenham same formation in those games going for a more adventurous shape in matches she would have seen as more winnable and so that has proved to be Shirts forward now. The flag is up on Carter. Decade of service as a gunner. Three times a league winner. Four times an FA Cup winner. Good decision by the assistant on that far side. Couple of goals in the league this term. And your Carter, here she is again. But not for very long. 20 scoreless minutes. A reminder if you missed it, Chelsea. 3 0 winners in the end over the holders, Manchester City, in the earlier semi final today. This weekend in December at Wembley is the date for the final. Given away. And sliced wide, Nikita Paris hitting one closer to the corner flag than Megan Walsh's net. But it was worth the snap effort because the clearance was a poor one. See the pass that Walsh was trying to play. Thirteen goals in the league for the previously or conquering Lille last term the key to Paris. Well, Williams has been robbed and Walsh has bailed her out. Brilliant save one on one. Should be one nil Arsenal. And Victoria Williams is the most relieved player at Meadow Park right now. Most frustrated is Caitlin Ford, given the chance to start with Miedemar rested. What an opportunity. back his forward again Pretty dangerous ball somehow it's threaded through everybody one Kayla Green
excellent of a midfield play from Leah Valti. That's every bit her game. Of attacking options who can do the prettier stuff going forward. Valti tends to be one of the deeper midfielders. And Jim, it's not that deep that often. Little. Perfect pass into the path of Noel Maritz. Really good cross, too. It's another chance for Ford. Maybe it'll be third time lucky. Great ball in. Just wonder if the run of Victoria Williams slightly put off Caitlin Ford. Just comes across her there. Hence the connection wasn't a clean one on the head. Generally a player who comes on as a substitute. Caitlin Ford for Arsenal because their forward options are so good. The five cup goals scored in the quarter-final against Tottenham. She got two of them. Uh, second season only as a gunner. Previously split her time between America and Australia, as is often the case. And a little bit of treatment here gives Hope Powell the chance to continue ramming home the message of how to be tight and organised. And I think they've done a pretty good job. Just two clearish chances there for Caitlin Ford in the last few minutes. But otherwise, while seeding plenty of ground, Brighton have done a decent job of keeping the gunners at bay, and no-one has really managed that this term. <laughs> Hayley Green is OK, it seems. We're gaining fans all the time. I'm sure many were around in the good old days. So long the untouchable standard bearers of the English women's game. Overall, 15 times champions of England. Three in the WSL years, 12 before that. Still the only English club to win the biggest European prize. Back in 2007 when Gunners won just about everything going. And that time it was doubles and trebles most years. Header like that needs such a glancing blow. Gone beyond that front stick as she had. Too solid a connection. Somebody who used to wear the red and white of Arsenal. Frenchman by the name of Olivier Giroud would be the world specialist at that particular skill. is in the middle, so to Kargman. They managed to get a cross in. This one, nice and easy for Manuela Zinsberger. No touch for the Austrian. Every minute of Arsenal's league season thus far. All bar one of the Champions League games. It's to be a fairly quiet evening for her. Doesn't mean she can't concede, though. Little away from the challenges. Time to go back, and that was it. Leah Valti looking to fill in. <laughs> Leah 
middle. <laughs> nice touch. Great chance. That's three Arsenal have missed. Uh, that took a nick on the way through, and that might not be the end result of this chance here. He seems to have been hurt in striking. It's a big challenge coming in from Simpkins here. Not sure if she got anything on the ball enough to was made a problem. On the latish side, you might say, that challenge. Another Arsenal corner. Switched off. Little with the cross. Hooked in towards Paris and Williamson was up too. A decent pass that for Carter. Just slightly misread it. Very neatly tidied up. Williamson showing the passing range again. It's a good ball. Lail from the cave. Now Maritz. Good, strong defending from Williams. Simpkins is on bright free kick. Pretty frustrating half an hour for Caitlin Ford. Sure that there was anything wrong with that. Come through the legs, more around. Decent tackle. It's a very calmly done header from Jen Beatty. That was not easy on the bounce at all. <laughs> Cynical foul. Plaintive cry, but Mead has won Arsenal the free kick. Who's and ours from the crowds for that flick? So maybe that evens it up and make that one wrong call each in the last couple of minutes. Is Paris? Valti. The cave with the cross. It's awkward. Williams is there though. Tick off another 15 minutes, Brighton. And it's here, they've got to try and give their defenders a rest and keep the ball just for a moment. And they haven't. Paris in the middle, it's too far for her. Ford loitering. Gibbons. Doggedly sticking to the task. Balti, BT. Nicely done. Cheeky little pass from Kim Little into Nikita Paris. Right, of course, Arsenal to try and the level passes like that one. Before they've done their job. Well, two dissenting voices in the direction of Abigail Byrne this far. It will in part be frustration for Arsenal that side that is so used to scoring early and having teams right where they want them. Gibbons, lovely touch. Pagman on the slide. They need a little bounce like that to break their way. Now 
now there is a bit of a press from Brighton. Pal in charge since 2017. Brighton. That time in charge of the English national team. Heavily involved with so many of those excellent Arsenal players of the time during their dominant period. Is Maritz. Latest plaintiff guy comes from Vanessa Cargman. Time being an official. Every single decision is met with dissent. Another Arsenal corner. No one's disputing that one. effort this time. Balti. Still five or six to aim at. That's a good ball. Paris the best to angle it back and keep it in. Just too much. Breezy night. Might just in the case of the wind getting hold of the ball there. Over 10 minutes from parity at half time, and I think Hope Powell would absolutely have said yes, please, to that if offered it. Try to kick off. Whelan battling away, barely had a touch, Alien Whelan. Attack-minded players had to help out the defensive effort so far. Of course, any time one of them makes a gamble like that, they run the risk of leaving more space in behind. On this occasion, it won't matter because the flag has gone up. We've reached the final ten minutes of the first half. We've had two good chances for Caitlin Ford. And not a great deal else. Gunners slightly shot shy thus far. Side of Ireland, seeded to win tomorrow in the summer. The titles in his native Sweden. Still, in many ways, at the other end of the experience scale from his visit number this evening. been the theme of this half. Leah Williamson with the long raking balls, they've generally been accurate. Arsenal. That ball in the bright half have been good between here and the edge of the box. Right, will take that as a mini victory. They'll definitely do so if they manage to get in at the interval. And it's still scoreless. header almost turned into something for me there away from Connolly but not that far here's Nobbs 
And Nikita Parrish, it's off the line from Williams. It's an onslaught, hammered back in by McCade. It's the first time Nikita Paris has got the better of Fliss Gibbons, and she's just done it twice there in 30 seconds. Once for the cross, once for the header. Brighton's captain, right place, right time to clear. The new vigour from Arsenal as this first half draws to a close. It's another good ball in this time by Leah Williamson. It's just not happening for Caitlin Ford. It's Brighton's hero for now. Nearly gave Arsenal a goal earlier. Stopped a certain one there. <laughs> Defensive now, where to be? Given situation. Harris beating Gibbons in the air for the header, having got the better of her for the cross. Now, Danielle Carter with two in the middle. So was Beatty. Moments in the Arsenal box are going to be few and far between. They've got to be clinical if they're going to cause the upset here and reach the final. Letizia up from the back. Got a hold of it, but got under it too. These are the moments they're playing for. Hope Powell will be thinking realistically we might get three of them. Be a couple more play really well or Arsenal are off it. Got to try and take advantage. As far as Arsenal have missed their chances, you know there will be more in the next 50 plus minutes. I think she's going to run out of pitch. It's beating. Excellent ball. Okay, couldn't quite get there. Right, in no rush. This year wants some help to come closer. Given away again, though. It's going to cost him eventually. Paris finding merits. Williamson. No space through that central court at all. It has to go wide, and it does. Need. Looks like she kept that in. Williamson again. Goes down. A shot not an option. Paris now. Ford with the little dummy. He's running in behind it. Nice idea. He's just gifted Arsenal the ball back this time. Picks it up for Arsenal. 
Maritz. Maritz has Gibbons one on one. Five times out of six. That is a duel that Gibbons has come out on the good side of. Body in the way, wait for the contact. Top done, Fliss Gibbons. One really big stop, that's all, for Megan Walsh. Yes, one has been cleared off her line. And that really big stop came from a Williams error. She sets the tone for it. One stop to deny Caitlin Ford the opener. And Walsh's standout moment. And you'd imagine that she would have imagined coming into this game she'd have been busier than she has been. Paris quick enough to get there. Walsh with the touch. Mead, awkward bouncing ball that. Simpkins did well not to incidentally handle it. Luke Brighton just fine, it's a goal kick and we're into the final minute of the first 45. Meadow Park. And it's been a frustrating 44, certainly for Arsenal. Good pace here from Nikita Paris. seconds of the first 45 and Walsh had to time that well as he did immaculate from Brighton's keeper that would have been a sickness for Brighton to concede right on half time like that Ford nearly and hasn't that been the story of this half the end made him up given a rest a busy schedule Arsenal with the league games Games, of course, and the Champions League fixture list. Got the squad depth to cope with it. What you've seen, a couple of chances for Ford here that you feel pretty confident Vivian Miedemar would have taken. That is, Caitlin Ford is up against. She'll take her chances when she gets them. Brighton ball here. be a sucker punch. Maya Letizia winding up for a long throw. First half stoppage time. Williams is up there. There's the half-time whistle. Well, halfway to job done for Hope Powell and Brighton. It's been a half largely of attack versus defence and the attack have not found a way through. Paris with a header cleared off the line by Captain Williams. Caitlin Ford twice missing out when it looked good. Brighton have done a very good frustrating job on the strong favourites here. Arsenal, the WSL leaders, scoreless for once at the break. It's Arsenal nil, Brighton nil in this second FA Cup semi. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Arsenal the whistle. Albert gets his second half underway. 45 more minutes, or maybe more. The time would not have been the expectation. Still won't be now with the whole second half to play. So far, so good for Brighton. Good job of frustrating. Pope Gunners attack. Second half. Half was throughout. Cave 
Getting forward from left back, dangerous ball. Williams there, as she so often is. Mead. Imagine that was a shot. It might have been across either way. No danger for Brighton of this second half. Straight back into possession in a dangerous position. Four teammates in the middle. Walsh pulls it away. Clearance job completed by Danny Kirkdyke. for Caitlin Ford. Not easy. And you don't get much game time. It's off in one sense. There's no Miedemar on the bench waiting to replace if Graham Arsenal's way. Tobin Heath, the signing Manchester United, the American international, another one rested. So to Ruben Moy. with BT touch there that's a great take from Ford there really good hold up play and then a sloppy pass didn't matter because the ever industrious McCabe has won it back and this is Mead again and now Jordan Nobbs Kirk Dyke and then Letitia clearing look how deep Brighton are and it's Ford again with a header again, and Walsh is there again. Unbelievable amount of space in the box, relatively speaking, there for Caitlin Ford. Probably with a jump, could have taken it down. Didn't expect that you would have the time to control, but so deep were Brighton. Fair enough to go first time. Nowhere near the corner, that was the problem. Here, Williamson now. Play once again for Ford. Fired in. Nobbs firing goalwards. It's another effort on target, but another really simple one. Jordan Nobbs' last goal. He's actually got two in the game. They were both in a win at Brighton at the end of April. This is when the earlier rounds of last season's FA Cup were being played. A little bit skewed with the schedule. On that front. The season before was FA Cup. Last December. Oh, that's excellent from Mead. And finally... Arsenal have their breakthrough. Kim Little to the fore. Brighton's resistance broken. Really good work from Beth Mead. From that range, it's a simple finish. Cave coming forward, played a part as ever. Really good skills from Mead. The cutback was precise. The control had to be too from Little. The first touch is what makes it possible. In such a tight space. Kim Little's first touch there is brilliant. The second was deadly. Been held out for so long, Brighton. And we'll have to come from behind to create the shock. Done well to get this far. Mead is having a tremendous season. McCoy Visto, the Finnish defender is on. 
Jagger if that was to do with an injury that wasn't immediately obvious from the first half because that is a very early change and we did see some treatment for Kaylee Green in that first half suspicion would be that whatever it was the problem has not gone away or their problems have doubled now BT taking no chances at the back of that bright chase then Kaylee Green making way for Emma Corvisto and Gurmin Lee got the opener in their last league game win over Tottenham is also on that was a foul throw not spotted by the assistant Williams with the flick on These are the set pieces from which Brighton must try and profit forward by Connolly into Carter and aimlessly through to Zinsberger change of shape here while oh, they're defending tough to tell but Roman Lee is certainly on two goals for Brighton of the capital it's Tottenham and against West Ham in this she's got okay the company here comes back for Walsh Carter by Connolly and the cross to be dealt with by Arsenal. Flip round the corner from Paris. Well, one back by Carter, though. Brighton playing higher up the field with more numbers. It'll leave them more open the other way, but clearly needs must. If Powell might have waited a little longer, 1 0 down, but it's play for going for it. But it might leave the gaps like this as Nobbs finds Mead and Mead finds the net. Made one, scored one, 2 0 Arsenal. They've come out quickly in this second half and done what they couldn't do in the first. They've done it twice and they are well in charge and more than halfway to Wembley. the legs and via one of the ankles of Maya Letizia and that really left Megan Walsh no chance at all Beth Mead has an assist and a goal to add to has been super last week or so it's a comfortable lead for Arsenal now with their superior possession you would have to seriously fancy them to probably add to it because Brighton, as you just saw then, had to commit the bodies forward or chose to, perhaps, at that early stage. You just wonder now if Hope Powell might have reconsidered that. Easy to say with hindsight. But they did have a lot forward. That did mean gaps at the other end. scurrying around up top just to confirm there she replaced Emily Simpkins in that double change from Hope Powell
McCabe with the cross. Many times more than he has. Tao made a call, worth the gamble, attacking change. Arsenal have hit them twice and quickly. Could be a long half hour now. Jordan Nobbs. Harris. Hurt by Whelan, back it comes. Perfect way to pass. Need a permanent threat in this left channel now. Brighton can't deal with that. Jordan Nobbs, what a stop. Little nearly had another. It's a fine save though from Mega Molsch on the initial effort. Look at that pass from Nobbs, absolutely perfect. Letizia is a really promising young defender, but she is having a torrid time trying to deal with the banging form Beth Mead. Nobbs with the shot. Walsh, super save, and it's improvised from Little. Didn't have time for anything else. Lee now. Seems such a tall order for Brighton, and they've just got to believe that perhaps they can just get the next goal. Never mind anything else, never mind thinking about winning 3-2. Just Think about scoring the next goal in this cup tie. Ford, followed all the way by Williams. Now out of position. Plug back quickly here. Carter, lovely bit of skill to lose the attention of beating Carter, and overdid it. Williamson covering for a partner back there. There was a moment where Danielle Carter could have pulled the trigger. Now she wishes she had. No flag here on Paris. Ford is in the middle. Nikita Paris. Not quite happening for it. General, actually. Since the move to Arsenal. Busy and dangerous always. Down on goals. Impossible boots to fill, really. Time at Lyon, of course, for once they weren't crowned champions, so she did not pick up a medal in France last term. Higgerberg, up all that time with injury. There are impossible boots to fill in the women's game. Those are those. Paris did manage to score 13 times. League campaign. Everton local through their system onto Manchester City. Really good final couple of the years there for sure, scoring 30 times. Got another move to Lille. Carter now. He's promising. Covisto up in support. Nicely done by Covisto! Just curling wide on the hour mark for Brighton. Suspicion there that Zinsberger might have got a fingertip on it. Brilliantly done to nutmeg Katie McCabe. Was there a touch? Even that is not quite conclusive. Been a slight change on the rotation of the ball. The corner certainly wasn't given. Doesn't mean it shouldn't have been. 
decent chance that for Brighton. Down out, Williams on Ford. takes a moment like that to turn what is at the moment a comfortable Arsenal lead into far more of a contest. <laughs> Ellie Brazil coming shortly will be Hope Powell's third change. <laughs> Substitutions <laughs> away to Arsenal's bench too. to Nikita Paris. <laughs> Immaculate defensive work from Leah Williamson, timing that intervention perfectly. Such a class act at the back. Okay, to Mead. Mead again, hurdles the challenge of Coivisto and very nearly finds the top corner. But it's all been about her this second half. <laughs> Ellie Brazil will replace Victoria Williams. Give us had a solid game back there. <laughs> A reluctant puff of the cheeks as she comes off. Now all three players that were in the last Brighton lineup didn't start today are now back on the field. Coivisto, Brazil, and Lee, with Arsenal preparing changes from their own bench. Here were Bucci. Joining shortly, she's not the only one. Is that going to happen now? It is. Manum as well. Not just yet. Options, including Jordan Nobbs. To slide it through for Paris. Here's Lee. Apparently was the final touch. That'll be an Arsenal ball. That will be the cue for the double gunners change. This has been the battle in the Arsenal midfield in terms of selection this term. Valti and Marnham. One replaces the other here. Number 21 signing from Linkoping, Frida Marnham. No goal for Caitlin Ford. She certainly had her chances, could have had a hat-trick. Mane Wabucci, the new signing, came from Aston Villa in the off-season. It's her replacement in attack. <laughs> WSL goal. Bucci, rather predictably, coming against the club who sold her to Arsenal. Aston Villa, here's Carter. Options left, right and centre. How's the cross? It's dangerous since Berger got two palms to it. Carter on target. Well, not much more than that. Worth an effort, though. Dropped nicely for the lob. See what she was trying. It's a smart idea. off the pain and it will have come from this challenge here. Newly arrived Ellie Brazil.
Picked up the loose pass here, Brazil. Oh, it's a great ball for Lee. I don't think she thought it was going to get to her. Rob staying calm, Beatty finding McCabe. Keeps it moving quickly to Katie McCabe. West Ham here, next in league play, Arsenal. Champions League action against Kerger. Debutants at Champions League level. 4-1 defeat and a 4-0 victory in that group so far, Arsenal. And it looks like that Barcelona loss will remain the only one in competitions this season. Everything else a win right now. There's Paris. Second bite, maybe. Jordan Nobbs. It's all closing up around the edge of that D. Little. Anyone can pick a hole. That's her. Maritz. On course for win number 12 in game number 13 of the season, Arsenal. Frighteningly good. Prospect of a Wembley final against Chelsea. That really should be a cracker. They played here on the opening day of the WSL season. Arsenal nicked it 3-2. Back to 3-1 up. Good value for it, really. And super game. Rematch. Eagerly anticipated if it does indeed go that way. There's a quarter of this semi final to go, unless Brighton can somehow take it to extra time. I have to say it's heavily odds against and far more so than it was at kickoff. Brazil. Well, Williamson has been absolutely everywhere back there in the best possible way. Base for Iwabuchi, one on one with Koivisto. Keeping with pretty much all of those Arsenal long rangers today, they've all been bang up the middle and straight at Megan Walsh. She's made two or three terrific stops outside of those. Shots Arsenal have had, they've generally been far too central. That was another. WSL games since they moved from Villa. He started a couple of them, Mane Iwabuchi. Top of that goal against her former club, Aston Villa. She has got three during the qualifying process for the Champions League. Side of our side. Winners of the of Kazakhstan in a, a mini tournament. Saw them and Final that they beat PSB in 3 1. Two legs, a 7 0 aggregate victory over Slavia Prague, getting them through to the group stage. A new look European competition, that Champions League this time with the group stage. Women's game. The presentation would be qualify with Barcelona from the force, and they are in. 20 minutes of normal time to play, unless Brighton can mount the miracle comeback. This defence has been mean. Goals conceded to Barca. One in this competition in the quarter-final to Tottenham. Finish 5-1. WSL, they haven't conceded since that opening day win here against Chelsea. Scored twice. This a lot of defensive stability and confidence. 
sheets in a row and plenty more in Europe as well. Gordon Nobbs. Great switch of play. It's up. Needed swap sides if she was offside. That was sloppy. But really smart forward. Been tight either way. Frieda Marnham hit. Pressure, having to get rid quickly, got under it on an awkward bounce. Katie McCabe, it's another long ranger right up the middle. Walsh to Whelan. Trying to play their way out, Brighton. It's a little too hot to handle for Ellie Brazil. Katie McCabe, always positive. Great player to watch. Goals of late. Cracker. Against Everton in the last league game. Beaten only by the one scored by Frieda Marnham. Just come on here in central midfield. Late on in the match. Marnham's first in the WSL. Absolute blockbuster of a finish. Late challenge here. We're going to see the card out. Megan Connolly on the receiving end of it. The card, that is. Beth Mead on the receiving end of her challenge. It was late. Confirmation of it there. First name taken with about 20 to go once it's all been added on. Here's Marnham. This call goes Brighton's way. Like ifs and buts for Hope Powell. In the background there. Go too early with the attacking change. What if Coivisto had stuck that good chance in and made it 2 1? Feels like it won't mount again, I think. Needed that to go in. Carter could still be the X Factor. Smart play. Okay, with the one two. Here's Iwabuchi. Nimbly through a gap. And what about that for a pass? Just a bit strong, but an incredible angle picked out there by Iwabuchi. The danger remains. The angle is tight. That'll be a corner. Fritz all the way up from right back. Some pass from Awabuchi. Now, with the defenders up, can Brighton nick it? Get something on the counter. Once they've defended it well enough, of course, and Mead is going to take. It's 
Shots three. Brighton didn't defend it at all. Leah Williamson up from the back. And it's easy street for Arsenal now. Without question, they're off to Wembley for the cup final. And Leah Williamson not had a ton of defending to do back there, but what she's done today has been perfect. She's stolen in at the far post and Brighton didn't go with their runners. Won't be a more popular scorer here either. Through the system, long serving since 2014. Never present starter for them. Scored in the 5-0 against Man City that really got people thinking that this could be Arsenal's year. Got one in the Champions League too. Not so long ago against Hoffenheim. 5-0, 4-0 and here for 3-0. Game over. Arnhem into Nobbs. Now, into Gibbons as she did Letizia in the earlier part of this second half. That's what happened when Iwabuchi came on. The flag of the right wing. Kargman didn't want to just boot it. Raylan Whelan. Frustration as she's unable to bring it under control. Hey, this game for any run that was too far for her. Lazy Simons replacing Anessa Kargman here. Game is up. Regulars might as well a breather for Hope Powell. Listo back to Kirk Dyke. Lee. Through to Simons. She had more time than there actually was. It's a chance for the teenager who's only just come on, probably just getting used to the pace of it. A couple of substitute appearances last term in the WSL. Three more this. Never started a game yet, but tender years. To Simons, that'll be another Arsenal free kick. Givens with the challenge. Optimistic cries of off from the Arsenal fans, but it will be yellow, not red, for Fliss Gibbons. In fairness, she pulled the leg away. Mead was expecting the challenge. Caution for intent anyway, and there was certainly the intent to bring down. On the wavelength, I think there. Not that the pass was any good for Beth Mead. Brilliant second half in particular for Mead. Brilliant season. To the final ten minutes here, and she's had a huge say in this game. Scoring the second, making the first for Kim Little. Constantly a threat, whether on the left or the right wing. Gone up team fouls as well. Yeah. 
got real squad depth, Arsenal. Ball in Tobin Heath, Luabucci, and Nikita Paris. Two tack minded players. Leader stepped up and said, Well, you're not having my shirt. Here's to the cave again. Luabucci in support. Here she is. face of Lee the referee took a moment to think about it but that's got to count as a head injury isn't it in the neck or the chest it looked like she took it full on in the face though ouch no oh, Maritz is going to have the last few minutes off here and a pattern will be her replacement. And a popular one too, by the sounds of it. Jen Beatty is the other player to come off here. We're going to have a look at Simone Boy Sorensen. It's had Injury issues since joining. She hurt her knee in game one here against Chelsea on the opening day of the WSL season. Joined from title winners Bayern in the summer. More evidence there of Arsenal's ambitious recruitment. She is on now. It's made again. Tissier timing that challenge well. Again. There is Simone Boy. So frustrating joining a new club. Against Chelsea in the opening day of the season. He's not played again till now a couple of the Champions League qualifiers prior to the WSL starting but new surrounding to three that keeps you out for a good few weeks it's been a little awkward for a new face amongst a dressing room as well got some time on the ball here all the way back to Zinsberger. Not had much to do. Augusto <laughs> coming forward, Iwabuchi tracking her all the way. It's not going to be a miracle comeback for Brighton, but they wouldn't mind one goal. And they might get it. Coivisto here, into Brazil. Lee's cross. Now Nobbs, and the counter is on. Brazil again. 
Connolly will try and keep that in for Brighton. Ball is beaten up. On track for another win, the other side of Al. from Walsh over three minutes it's a good ball and a well-timed run from Ellie Brazil they need a bit of help in the middle Brazil look at the far post cross didn't get there Carter Kim Little a long time former colleague in the way bad cross just beyond the stretch though of Lee They've had two or three half chances, Brighton. When you're an underdog, as strongly so as they were before this game. You really need to be perfect and you probably need your host to have an off day and Arsenal aren't having off days. Not this season, anyway. They had a great start to the league last term, actually, in England. A good end, too, but a, a wobble in the middle that cost them terms of challenging for the top they got third place in the WSL they're aiming far higher than that this term and understandably too playing their way out of trouble here nicely done here comes Kim Little the 1300 present Meadow Park for this one be a fair few more than that making the short trip to Wembley for the final on December the 5th Arsenal will fancy themselves against anyone, but what is certain is they will have far more of a game. More of a difficult contest than they have had here this evening. season Arsenal frightening prospect when you're that good going forward and that tight at the back that's for sure through enough for Walsh to gather. Incredible goal scoring season though. Three added minutes we're into the first of those. Arsenal's 13th match this is of the season. They lost 4-1 to Barcelona as I mentioned and in all of the other games now they have scored a minimum three goals. scary stuff on Halloween. Oh, 
Bonucci. Keg. Boy. That's the Williamson. Kept that run going of scoring three times, at least. And a good ball from Mead. Just relentlessly good Beth Mead, and here she goes again. It might be four, it very nearly was. Kim Little into the side net rather than the back of it. The finest, final change from the owner side of it. Mia Williamson, scorer of the third. Replaced by the teenage Taya Goldie. Rare chance for the Arsenal fans to see her. A bit of action in the qualification period for the Champions League. But it is a tough side to get into. It's a tough team to get into, even as a late substitute. Stoppage time cameo for the youngster here. to Iwabuchi, Nikita Paris. Looks like it's going to be another goalless outing for her. Not to say she's not been a threat. The goals have been flying in for Arsenal, but not for her yet. A couple in qualifying for the Champions League, one in the Cup against Tottenham last month. The Brighton Cup run is going to end at the semi-final stage. They got this far once before, it was 45 years ago, different format. <laughs> Take away from form that has been good though, but there's no doubt about it, they have been second best here and by a long way. It's yet more smiles for Jonas Eideval. The 14-time FA Cup winners Arsenal will have a shot at number 15 in five weeks' time at Wembley against Chelsea. They were frustrated for 45-plus against a really well-organised Brighton side here. But the quality, well, it shone through in the end. They have got the job done thanks to early second-half goals from Kim Little and Beth Mead and Leah Williamson there. Added number three. Mead, unstoppable is 12 wins from 13 played in all competitions this season and in every one of those 12 wins they have scored at least three times they are the real deal the Gunners are into the final full time at Meadow Park on semi-final Sunday Arsenal 3 Brighton nil.